What's up guys, it's Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors. And today, on our weekend vlog, we're gonna be doing some shed hunting and talking about white-tailed deer. If you guys don't know, white-tailed deer shed their antlers every year. Here's a, sh here's a shed that I found last year. I have three deer that I've harvested in the tailgate of the mule over there. This is the one that I killed when I was six, a little four point. And then I killed this eight point when I was eight. It's a pretty nice eight point. And then this year, is my deer I killed this season. I'm pretty proud of this nice eight point. I wasn't videoing yet, but I got some clip from the hunt. Pretty nice deer. We'll go over to the blind in the food plot and show you that. Okay, we're here at the food plot. I'm gonna show you the feeder and the water tanks we have. There's our water tank. We just had a rain, so it's pretty full. And our feeder is over here. I don't think it has any corn in it right now. And our blind's over here. This blind, me and my dad built together out of scrap material from our shop that we had built. There's another look at the blind. Guys, one more thing before we get shed hunting. I was checking my traps before I went shed hunting. And check this out. I caught a red-tailed hawk. Look how mean this guy is. I'm gonna let him go. I just wanted to show you how mean he was. Now let's go shed hunting. Okay, we're at our first spot. We're gonna search these trees. I don't see anything yet. I'll get back to you if I see anything. Okay, there is nothing in those trees, but I stumbled across this. Look at that barbed wire running right through that tree. Isn't that crazy? Well, we're gonna search this fence because when deer jump the fence, sometimes their antlers fall off. So we're gonna walk this fence real fast. I haven't found any sheds yet, but I stumbled across this skull. Look at those teeth. Pretty cool. I just wanted to show you guys that. But let's go shed hunt some more. We're at the next spot. 
I'll sh there's a big bedding area, so hopefully one of the bucks was running through here and dropped an antler. There's a bedding area. Well, at least I think there's a bedding area because look at all the grass knocked down. Walk through here. I don't see anything yet. see anything. I see something white over there. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I found a deer skull. Found a little six point. That's pretty cool. That's our first deer find of the day. It's pretty cool. Let's go search some more for some sheds. I think I see some antlers sticking up out of the grass. Hopefully it's just not a stick. some trash. Maybe we can find one. Okay, I'm at the next spot. I'm walking up and I I see this pile of bones. It's from a cow. There. There's a nice cow head right there. Now we need to find a shed. Let's go to the next spot. We're at the next spot. It's a lot rougher terrain, so I switched over to the four-wheeler. Let's go find some sheds. Okay, I just got done shed hunting. It started raining, but I ran into a shed with the camera not on because it was raining and I couldn't get the camera on. Here's the one I found. Nice eight point side. Ow. Well, a four point side. Nice shed. Here's everything that we found today. We got that shed that I just showed you. We got that cow skull. Deer skull. I'm still not sure what this is. I still think it's a beaver. Let, let me know in their Facebook page because YouTube doesn't allow comments. That's all I have for you today. I hope you liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Austin, say it. I'll see you at the next. Widow. Have you ever seen a hawk play possum? He's just laying over on the side. <laughs>